We are now ready for our brushes. And I always like to duplicate. So we're going to duplicate out the inking. I'm going to lock it out and then hide it. Let's click on our brushes menu. I'm going to click on brush libraries menu. I'm going to drop down to where it says other library. And now we are opening up our brushes. I'm going to click on our brushes. And then I'm going to select on our tinted brushes. I'm going to click on open. And they will just pop right up. And why we built it the way we did with the scissor tool is so we can add on and we can get a bunch of line variation. So that is something that I personally like a lot. So I can come in and now I can just fatten some things up. And I can also kind of have more overlapping, especially with these lines, which I, I like a lot. So I'm just looking at the ends. And anytime something's floating in space... That is a good signal that it's going to be tapered. If it's touching, that is a good signal that it should be fat and then taper out in space. And we can always modify, move things around. So I'm looking at the bottom. Taper, good. And I do have two different directions for those brushes. So that was three. Most of these are going to get pretty fat. So I want that to be fat and then taper. And you can hold down shift for all of these, by the way. Same thing is true for that one. I'm just going to grab all of these front drips. Because I already know those are all going to be tapered. And they're pretty much going to be tapered at one. I think all of these backs. Let's do fat. Did it actually work out for all of them? Oh, I can't even believe it worked out that nicely. Let's go 1.5. And we can always modify these, by the way. I'm just looking for any of the ones I want. And it's going to be fat. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to extend it a tiny bit down, and I want that one to go up to, let's go three to start, and I'm really looking to see if that corner is being overlapped. I might extend this down a little bit, so let's extend this down. I'm just using my black arrow right now. Let's just switch that up so the fat goes towards this part, so it looks a little bit more like it's overlapping. Grab that one, I'm going to click it to three. I'm going to go fat on both ends, so notice it goes fat, fat, let's click it up to three, I might even go up to four. Four. That looks good. I'm going to take that edge. I'm on my white arrow, by the way. Shortcut is A. I'm just hiding everything in there. Let's zoom in on this mouth. I think these are mostly okay. Let's grab these teeth. Actually, we can grab all of these. And that'll be fat on both ends. I'm going to leave it for right now. I want that one to go fat towards the side of the mouth. I'm going to bump it up to two. So notice how there's that little bit of a corner. Just extend it so it's a little bit long. Same thing here. I want it to go fat and then taper. I'm going to bump it up to two. And I'm just looking at the bottom. I basically want that to all get covered up. Then we don't have to mess around with anything. That looks good. I want this one to go fat and then taper. It'll make sense when we hit it. There we go. So it's going to be a little bit of a crease right there. Or hiding under the th thumb. So I'm going to grab all of these fingers... If life is good, it'll all work out. Oh, life was good right there. I'm just going to deselect. I'm going to modify this one a little bit. Let's just bump that up to three. It will be a little bit different of a color. That is totally acceptable. This might be the last line. This might be it. All right, we are just doing a last second little check here. So whenever we do our little boogie checks, is I really am looking to make sure that everything is going a little bit long. Everything is still in a stroke form. So I can modify the strokes, I can modify thicknesses, I can modify these ends really, really easily. So before I move on to my next step, which is expanding and doing all of our cleanup, I just want to make sure that all of these edges are pretty much hiding within themselves, everything looks long. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to go file save. So this is going to be the one we want. I am going to duplicate this out. So I'm going to lock, hide. I'm going to call this one brushes expanded. So we are going to pretty much expand out everything so it is no longer going to be in our paths and or our strokes. So this is going to be the one that we want to come back to, especially if anything happens or this is the one I always want. Let's put it that way. So for our cleanup, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to select everything on that layer. I'm going to come over to Object. I'm going to go Expand. And that'll expand all of our brushes. 
And then I want to come over and go Object Expand, and that'll expand all of our strokes. And while everything is still selected, I am just going to color that black. So if that was bothering you, now we are good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in, and now we have all of this weird overlapping. So I'm going to, here's my little process for you that is very, very easy. I am going to select the shape. I'm just going to go Shifty, and I'm just using it as a paintbrush, and I'm just hiding those edges within themselves. So anything that I think, hey, I don't need this, or it's going on the outside, both of these are going to get deleted. Shifty, so I can hold down Shift. Those are all going to hide within that nose or the bridge of the, the fake bridge of the nose. So I'm just hiding things within themselves. And the thought process is just what's in front of each other. And if I ever want to change the size of this brush, just look for your pen tool, which is P, and the brackets will be right next to that. And I'm just looking for overlapping. I think all that is good. That's going to hide in that tooth. Now, there really be a couple different things that I would recommend during this. If you can zoom in, especially when you start getting into the finer lines, you'll definitely find that that is easier to erase. The major issue is if you just get too close, then you just don't know what is what. So I usually zoom out a little bit farther than I would normally be, especially for the video, and that's just so you guys can see what I am erasing. So that corner of the mouth is going to get tucked in. Let's grab these two shapes. Click on Shifty. Just using my spacebar to move. And this is just a very straightforward approach. So I know there are other people on there going, there are other ways. I agree with you. There are other ways. So let's show you one of them. You can do Pathfinder. There are some things you can do in there. I would try and avoid it, especially if you're brand new. All right. I told you I would show you. I promised. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go black. And this is just a different option. That is all this is. So I'm going to select everything over here. I am just going to come over to our shape builder. And you're going to notice it's going to want to connect. So what we're going to do is the opposite, and I want to subtract things. Now the only little thing I want to recommend is just, if you can be out a little bit further, it actually makes your life really easy on what, hey, it's selecting, and then I can just point and click and get rid of things. So this one is literally just pointing and clicking. It'll highlight for you. You might want to just zoom in. Now, whenever we're doing this, it just looks way more complicated. So that's why I don't necessarily go through this very often. And you will get these little tiny strays that sometimes are hard to hard to see. I was just like showing that one because it's it is a you're just turning it into a point and click, which I actually kind of like. But you'll notice that everything is fitting quite nicely within each other. All right, so we just cleaned up all those lines, and if you use the eraser, this is what you're going to be looking for. This is a good time to just pause the screen and just double check. If you were using Shape Builder, this would be another good time to say, like, hey, did I get everything? What we're looking for is, did we get all of the overlap lines? It looks like we did, so I'm going to use my magic wand. I'm going to grab all of the black here, and I am going to unite those. I'm going to come up to the top and go File, Save. We're going to do a digital high five. You are done with the inking demo for this blob character. So on the next demo, we're going to fill in all of the flat color. We're going to do highlights, shadows. We're going to do as many different highlights as we can. And then we're going to add on our transparent gradient. So if we really want them to get slimy, it's going to take a little bit of time. So we're going to do a kind of an abbreviated version of that. And then I'll kind of go you through what steps I would do to go all the way to shiny, shiny. And then uh, we'll kind of come back and do that. So that'll be all on the next video. If you guys are going through the channel and if you guys are liking them, definitely subscribe, definitely comment, definitely go through and subscribe. I do read all of the comments every day. So if you are going through everything and need assistance, definitely put that into the comments. I try and get back to you as soon as I see it. And other than that, I will see you guys on the color demonstration.